First of all, my name is Israel, Israel Cohen. Uh, I'm 36, married, two kids. Um, I've been studying Krav Maga when I was 11. Okay, Avi Moyal was my instructor. Uh, started in school. Okay, there was a mandatory self-defense uh, uh, in Israel. The reason was there was a lot of stabbing, uh, terror-oriented stabbing in Israel, so it was mandatory. Starting from there, <coughs> joined the class, uh, did my uh, uh, instructor course uh, when I was 16, something like that. Trained, August okay, was still belts back then. Trained until I joined the army. That's it. Again, joined the army when well, I was 18, uh, joined to the Navy uh, after selection. I uh, got to a special unit in the Navy, been there as a fighter for four and a half years. Uh, released from the Navy, released from the Army. Uh, only a few months later, uh, joined the government. Uh, for the first four years, work as, worked as a security-oriented, uh, two years in the uh, Secret Service, and then two years in, as an Air Marshal. And that period of four, four and a half years, did also my studies. Okay, I'm an electrical engineer. Because uh, in these two jobs, you can be a student and still work. Uh, after two years as an air marshal, after I finished my studies, uh, did a little selection in the government and uh, joined in a, in a fighting team in the government. And after a while, being uh, the team leader and the Krav Maga instructor of the team until five months ago. That's it, I'm newly released, newly civilian. Because I'm small, okay? In all other uh, martial arts, you have rules, okay? Meaning you are bound to do something and it's harder if you have it, okay? In, a disadvantage, okay, my weight, my height, uh, and Krav Maga, you don't have rules, meaning you can do whatever you want, you can use your advantages, and when you grow up, you understand that it's more suitable for real life, and of course, afterwards in the army, and uh, it, okay, it helped me because of my background, I was, okay, that was my specialities, and you know, in anti-terror, in uh, all that kind of uh, subjects, CQB, um, Okay, because of the background, I, I can use it, and the army also will benefit from it. And of course, afterwards, okay, uh, in the government, you're using Krav Maga all the time. I joined the IKMF when I was 11. Okay, that was the beginning. I've always been uh, training Krav Maga, always been under uh, the organization. Most of my years are being it, doing it, okay, in the army or in the government. Uh, while my friend Israel Tamir and uh, Amnon and all the guys are doing it in the civilian side. A um, few months ago, uh, I brought Avi uh, to my unit to, uh, to do a seminar. And uh, it was not long after me and my wife had a little argument because in Israel, when you are in the government or when you are in the army, you are really fighting, okay? Not just there, you know, doing nothing and drinking coffee all day. So we decided that, okay, now it's the time after 16 and a half years, it's time to let go, to be with the family more. And Avi being, doing the seminar to the unit, you know, and he said, if you are out, okay, I want you with me. Okay, of course, if, okay, so... Avi brought me up in the Krav Maga, so of course it was my uh, big honor to join. And I'm still here. Okay, still doing the reserve, reserve in the unit, so I'm, you know, living in two worlds. Huge difference. The main one is army, uh, government, whatever. First of all, you have to do it meaning it's mandatory, it's not a choice. Um, 
for civilians, okay, you're doing it on your free will. I mean, you don't have to do it and you still, and you still come and suffer, <laughs> okay, voluntarily. I still need to get used to it, but it's still crazy for me. Um, in Krav Maga, when you're training, you are breaking everything to parts, meaning if he's coming from this angle, he's coming from that angle, because you can really concentrate on all kind of aspects. In combat, because there is a lot of things happen, okay, you can't break everything to parts. Okay, so things are much more simpler, meaning if you are an oriental stab, okay, you have a technique, this one and only this one. Okay, not life side, dead side, from here and the other way. Um, you are counting a lot on your aggression, a lot of aggression uh, 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 techniques, a lot of aggression drills, because um, you probably get hurt. Okay, you need to uh, overcome and, uh, and still win. So it's much more simpler, okay, the techniques are much more simpler. Uh, counting a lot of your aggression, okay, you can't run away, okay, it's not an option, okay, for a, 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 sec a secret service guy, you can't run away, you can do the defense and go, you need to stay and fight. Um, a lot of specific uh, techniques, meaning you need to take someone down, okay, to do it forward with a rifle, without a rifle, with a gun, uh, you need to pick someone and take him. How do you do that? You're building techniques for a specific uh, situation, specific operations. Uh, so it's very sexy and interesting in, in that case. But uh, okay, it's not always for self-defense. A lot of time it's for an attacking mode. The, my Speciality is uh, I'm head of the uh, military and SWAT training in the IKMF. Again, because of my uh, because of my background, Navy background and the, and the government. In the Navy, of course, most of the things were uh, military and special operation war uh, oriented. In the government, it was uh, a little combination of everything else, meaning. Two years of secret service, meaning, okay, VIP protection and uh, third party protection. Two years as an air marshal, meaning, okay, walking, sitting, okay, uh, uh, undercover walk. Um, and again, as because I was instructor of my team, instructing my team in, uh, in a part of the other uh, way, you have to, okay, you have to do work because it's evolving almost everything, the team do almost everything. You need to s keep up to date with, the, with all the other units, meaning, okay, once a week you need to be, okay, walk with the Secret Service. Okay, once a week you need to walk with uh, another field unit. Okay, so we are always, you know, even when you have a job, you know, always keeping in touch with, the, with all this uh, stuff. So my background in in the air marshal and the uh, secret service and uh, on the cover walk or whatever is huge. You know, uh, using Krav Maga that comes from Israel and not just by yourself is you can adapt it, okay, to, to anything. Meaning, uh, because we are doing Krav Maga everywhere, meaning you're doing Krav Maga in the army, Okay, if you join the, the police, you do Krav Maga, okay, in the police. You join the government, no matter what unit, you're doing Krav Maga there. And Krav Maga is combined to fighting. It's not just Krav Maga on the mat, okay? So a lot of time, okay, people from other units around the world, okay, wanna, okay, we, we had we encountered that, in that situation, okay, we had trouble. Now you can, it's easily for you, okay, to give them a solution because we probably encountered that solution ourselves and because we train a lot of it on that and then used all kind of technique, it's easy to build a suit to a unit, okay, to, uh, to embrace, okay, for them. Okay, so it's, you can modify it to a lot of sections.
okay, to a civilian, to another SWAT team, okay, for law enforcement guys, okay, you wanna, okay, I can't punch him, but I still need to take him down, okay. In Israel, okay, it's, it's happened, okay, he's passively resist, you can't just hit him or shoot him, you need to take him down, okay, so we build a technique on that, okay, and it's because you're doing it a lot, okay, you know what works and what's shit. Adapting, how I, did I adapt to a civilian life uh, or civilian Krav Maga? If you ask the guys from the seminar just now, they, say, they would say I probably didn't adapt yet <laughs> because I killed them, but I'm trying. Uh, the main difference is to, to put a lot of emphasis on the technique, meaning the angle of the hand, uh, the angle of the body, because you have time doing that. Okay, they're here, okay, you'll see him, you'll see them in, in a few days, so you have time to correct him. Okay, not everybody are the same, meaning you have a young guy, you have an old guy, okay, you need to adapt to different shape, different body. Okay, in the unit, everybody's strong, everybody's, you know, in shape, so they can probably, if they Technique is not that right, they will overcome with their power or because there are a few guys. Uh, so that's a big change. You need to be correct, do the correct technique with someone because he's, okay, because he's old or whatever. And you need to stop on that, okay. In, in the unit, if he's doing the defense, uh, in this, in they say, okay, never mind, keep on fighting. Okay, here you need to correct them. Okay, I want it in this part because here it will slide. Okay, you don't want them to, you're not starting from the point. Okay, you probably get hit and then go. Okay, in the unit, okay, you, you're fighting. Okay, you probably get hit. I don't care. Keep on fighting. Here you want to prevent. Okay, you're working much more self defense oriented. Okay, people are trying to avoid uh, confrontation. In the unit, you are going to the confrontation. All right. um, different shape level. Okay, not everybody can do the same thing. Okay, in the unit, everybody is doing. Okay, same thing, same hard work. Here, you need to. Okay, different levels of different people. Okay, someone just started. Someone is that is keep on training. Um, but it's nice, it's nice to see people that, you know, doing it, okay, from the f own free will. Okay, in the unit. Okay, guys, three hours, Krav Maga. We're gonna die. Okay, they're starting the day like that, because it's hard and don't like it, because they're doing it a lot of time. Here, people are doing it voluntarily. You know, they're coming, they're enjoying it, they really not want to, to know, uh, you can understand that they're, they think how it's important for them. It's very nice to see.